Hey everyone, my name is Mary Costandi and today we're going to be talking about creating 360 videos using the Ricoh Theta S camera. Um, you could be wondering why Ricoh Theta S and um, the simple reason is availability. Um, as a UBC student, staff or faculty, you can find the Ricoh Theta S in uh, Chaplin Learning Commons. I'm going to show you how simple it is to use it and how you could be creating your own 360 videos. As you can see, um, the camera has two lenses, uh, one on each side, and each lens takes a 180 view. On the side, it has three buttons. The first one is the power button, and the second one is the Wi-Fi button, and the final one is the mode button. The power button, you use it to turn it on and off, and as you can see, now it's turned on, so it um, it's blue in color and blinking. The Wi-Fi button is if you want to operate the camera remotely and also you could uh, transfer the images and videos to your phone. So that's the Wi-Fi button and then when you click on it you will find that it's blinking on the front so when it's blinking it's searching for the Wi-Fi and then when it's stable it's not connected to your phone. The final one is the mode button and the mode button um, switches between a camera mode and a video mode. So if I click here, I'll find in the front it's on video. I could click again and then I'll find in the front um, it's on camera. So in the front, um, we mentioned the indicators, the Wi-Fi indicator, which is now blinking in the camera or video mode um, that appears here. There is also the shutter button, uh, which is the only button you have here. And the shutter button is the button you use to operate the camera. So say I'm on camera mode and I click the shutter button now, so I took a photo. And um, say I switch it to video, um, and then I click the button now, um, I'm starting a video, and again, there's another indicator, um, which is the flashing red light. The flashing red light um, indicates that the video um, is now on, and then when you click, the video stops and the indicator stops. Um, that's about it for the important stuff. Um, on top, you can see there's a microphone and a speaker. Um, at the bottom, um, there is um, space to hook it to a tripod. Uh, there is HDMI, and that's for live streaming. And there's also um, a USB uh, terminal and that you can use to connect to your laptop or you could also use it to charge the camera. Yeah, I hope you find that this demo is useful and that you consider borrowing a Ricoh Theta camera and trying it out. One more thing, um, I just want to uh, mention and thank UBC Studios for providing this space. I'm shooting in the One Button Studios, uh, which is quite um, easy um, to use, so um, yeah, I just want to give credit to the space and invite people to try it out.